Khan, Shalom, Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all praises, glorification, and honor to Yahweh, Baha Sham Yahweh Shai. Double honor goes to the apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, who continue to teach us and rule well in the spirit, leading the flock by example, and are our true teachers for the nation of Israel on earth today. <coughs> Peace, blessing, citations goes out to the Akium, the brothers pushing this 100% gospel. Salakia. Throughout the four corners of the earth, in sincerity, in honesty, and in truth, risking their life for Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai sake. Adwan Ratazar, which means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. You know, you can see from this article, okay, it's uh, from Pop Smoke Media, okay. And the headline reads Overseas deployments reach highest levels, army faces retention challenges. Now, this is back in April the 18th, 2023, this year. But nonetheless, it's still relevant to the times that we're in concerning prophecies, okay. And, um, <clears throat> you know, Esau Edom is, is a warmonger, man, okay? He lives by the sword, that's his nature, okay? And he's constantly threatening, threatening these other nations with his army, his military prow uh, prowess, okay? Look at how many military bases that America has situated in many countries across the world, man, all right? So you can see the whole military influence, all right, spread throughout the globe. It says the US Army is facing growing concerns over the high operational tempo of its soldiers as overseas deployments reach the highest level since the war on terror. The strain is leading to fears of burnout and retention issues which could further hamper the branch's ability to carry out its mission effectively. Okay. So there you go, man. The soldiers are experiencing high levels of stress and burnout. Alright. So these these Babylonian soldiers, man, are fed up, man, are worn out. Okay due to the stress and many other circumstances that, they, uh, that they're going under, right? Because Esau is right, a terrible manager, man. He's a terrible ruler. He doesn't do things well. He doesn't manage things well, okay? He doesn't manage people at all well. And he certainly doesn't manage the environment nor the earth, okay? Look at the destruction of the Amazon rainforest as an example, okay? And there's many other signs and evidence, okay, of the destructive behavior that this man has spread on the earth man it's clear and it's clear and visible to see okay <clears throat> now we're uh, back in the ancient times especially on the, uh, you know, like David Ark and David right? we were much more organized all right okay around King David's time okay and he had an empire, man. Okay, that was completely different. Alright. You know, Esau, on the other hand, he's a menace to everyone and goes to and goes to war. For the sake of war. Because this man can never be satisfied, as the scripture says. Okay. So this is uh, 1 Chronicles chapter 27, starting from verse 1. And the, head, the subheading says, Commanders of the Army. Alright. The verse 1 reads, Now the children of Yasha'ala, Israel, which Yasha'ala means... Yah, <coughs> he, Shah, Prince, Allah, Power. He's the Prince of God. All right. And that's the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. True biblical Hebrew Israelites, according to the scriptures. So it says, Now the children of Israel, after their number, to wit, the chief fathers and captains of thousands and hundreds, and their officers that served the king in any matter of the courses. Okay. Now the king always had certain, you know, men under him that would perform and carry out his plans overseas. And domestically okay so you'd have an individual that would you know serve a month okay and then until that <coughs> until that time you know was come they were replaced okay by another crew member all right as we read on we'll see you know so it says which came in and went out back month by month through all the months of the year of every course were twenty and four thousands all right now the children of Israel, again, after their number to wit, the chief fathers and the captains of thousands and hundreds and their officers that served the king in any matter of the courses which came in and went out month by month through all, sorry, throughout all the months of the year of every course were 20 and 4,000, okay? So again, an individual served a month, okay, until that person was replaced by another crew member who would <coughs> basically serve a month in replacing them, right? etc etc all right so there were 24,000 men in each course 
All right. So at a set time, you know, King David would have already, you know, had 24,000 men at his disposal, at his call, with him. All right. Verse 2 reads, Over the first course for the first month was Jashabim, the son of Zabdiel, and in his course were 24,000 of the children of Perez, with the chief of all the captains of the host of the first month. Verse 4, And over the course of the second month was Dodai and Ahohai, and of his course was Mikloth, also the ruler. In his course, likewise, were twenty and four thousand. And the list goes on. Okay. Right, as you progress on, man, that's the list. So, you know, the way we did, the way we did, you know, did things back then, that didn't, you know, burn us out. Alright. It was done decently and in order. That's why the American army is so stressed and broken down, you know comparison to these other nuclear nations like Russia who's you know <clears throat> building up their arsenal you know training for war they're in that military warlike mindset okay now the children of Israel you know we didn't just engage in mili with military nations other nations all the time all right trying to be the aggressor all right we were in a constant state of war all the time like how Esau is you know that's why we never got burnt out like that okay Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from the top and so penny says a time for everything to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven a time to born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted okay a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up okay a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance that's right we're in the house of mourning right now okay you know we're not in the house of mirth all right a time to rend, verse 7, jump down to verse 7, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, and this is time to speak, man, the prophets are speaking, okay, and we're speaking the oracles of Yahweh Hashim Shai through the Spirit, all right, verse 8, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace, and we're in that time of war, okay, all right, so you had peace times, and you, had, you know, and you had periods of, of war, Right, so it's not supposed to just be about warfare 24 7 that's not how it's supposed to be you know the american military is burnt out so much that it's causing mental problems on the men all right shooting themselves post-traumatic stress disorder okay shooting other family members all manner of problems man you know and these are the nations like north korea and china and russia and, and iran you know they see all this man they see the inside destruction that's taking place within america man the fall of the em you know of the empire All right okay they see all this and it's a prime opportunity for them to attack so okay so that's you know that the lord's spirit will allow these nations to to do so in his due time and we're inching close and close to that we're just waiting for the motb to be uh implemented all right mandatorily across the world Right. You know, and everyone is, is, is you know, before World War Three happens, and everyone is waking up to the realization that Esau's way of life, okay, isn't really the way of life, man. So called white man, his ways are miserable, destructive, and leads to, to chaos and death. It's toxic, okay. Malak Dawada, King David, you know, did it the right way, man. Okay. His standing army. All right, took turns month by month so that no man got burnt out and was able to return home to handle his own business, you know. All right, to handle, you know, his farm, you know, the livelihood, basically. Psalm 75, yeah, Psalm chapter 75, verse 7. But Yahweh is the judge. He put us down one and set us up another. Okay. And he put Esau up to rule for a set period of time in wickedness. Okay. Okay. And it's soon that he's, the Lord is going to put this man down. All right. And you see that, you know, in the so-called white man's army, man, you know, you're a soldier for life, a career soldier. All right. So, you know, your whole life is dedicated to, to war, basically. But under King David, his soldiers had, you know, you know, 
order. Okay. You know, every, you know, each one. All right. You know, we take you know, twenty four thousand in each car, and take it in turns that way. All right, and then they go home and handle their business, their farms, their livelihood, basically. To get back to. All right. So that's the state that, you know, the American military is in. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. With that, Kal Halayim Lai Habashim Yashai Shalom.